Welcome to day 21 of my 30 day security challenge, the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can follow along on the security challenge via my blog at snubsy.com where you can skip ahead or download a checklist of the challenge. Each of these videos is also curated into a playlist so it's super easy to follow along for the whole 30 days. Today is all about have I been pwned? What is have I been pwned or owned if you like to say it that way. It's a website made by security researcher Troy Hunt that can alert you of any company data breaches where your information was potentially stored. HaveIBeenPwned.com formed after a big breach where usernames and passwords for a website were posted on the internet by an attacker. That sounds scary. So then anyone with the know-how or the link could view this data and use it against the folks that had their credentials stolen. So what is a breach? This is where a company, a website, a place where data is stored, is hacked and data stolen by an attacker. The attacker then puts the data online for the world to see, usually at the behest of the company who runs the site and their users, since all of their usernames and passwords are now public. Other attackers will take this readily available information and try to reuse it on other sites to easily steal money or more data or take over other accounts. This is why it's so important to use a different different password on each site and use two-factor authentication wherever possible. HaveIBeenPwned.com takes all of these breaches and puts the data together to figure out exactly how many user accounts were publicized and it alerts you of any breaches that you were a victim of. It quite simply scrubs through a slew of breach data looking for your email address and usernames and if it finds a match it will email you saying you were part of this breach you should change your password immediately or something similar. The site does not store passwords though. Each of these breaches is verified by Troy before being added to the growing list on Have I Been Pwned. Troy Hunt built this site as a service to the security community and consumers, and I find it valuable when needing to know if my username or email address was found in any kind of breaches. So to use this site, you go over to haveibeenpwned.com and click on Notify Me from the menu. Enter your email address or addresses if you have multiple and verify you are not a robot and click Notify Me of Pwnage. Setting this up will alert you in the future of any breaches with your email address in it. If you want something that's a little bit quicker than waiting around, go to the main page and type in your email address, click Pwned, and check the information listed below the entry. This page will list any breaches your email account was found in along with any documents pasted online with your email in them. Once you see some breaches, do not panic. What you should do is go to each of the sites listed and change your password, and if you have the option, turn on two-factor authentication. While you cannot do much to keep a company from getting hacked, you can keep yourself from getting hacked by updating your password and two-factor authentication, so even if someone found these public breaches, they wouldn't be able to do anything with your data. Also, if you had previously reused the passwords from any of these breaches on another site, you will need to update the password on that site as well. Personally, I love how I've been pwned.com. I constantly sign up for sites here and there specifically for testing things on my shows, so I have tons of accounts on sites that I don't have good records of. So if any of them get hacked, I know that Have I Been Pwned will alert me of anything that happens publicly involving my accounts or usernames. Now day 21 is now complete. Tomorrow is all about email, security, and privacy. But first, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist and to skip ahead on the 30-day security challenge. Again, I'm Shannon Morris, and I will see you tomorrow for day 22.